Hi, good morning, you all, and you are welcome to this website designing using this WordPress. Uh, this is Dr. Jana, and we, as I promised you, that I will be preparing a video lecture for you uh, on this topic. Uh, we will be happy to know that for uh, for designing any website using this WordPress, it may be a blog, it may be a web page, or whatever things there. What you need to do? Uh, first, you see that Jam server is downloaded and installed. I already downloaded this jam and I already installed just it is very easy just you click 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 and everything is there so then when you type it here now this you go to the command prompt here type here to search and there you type jam okay once you are typing this jam you can see jam control panel it will come and click that one and you can see clearly what you what you see in front of you okay then you can clearly see it here uh, that uh, uh, so, so many servers are here, the, what is telling the module and the left hand side services are there. So I want to start the services of Apache server for PHP, uh, right, and for, uh, yeah, it, it is going to start, and I think yeah, it is started, you can see the port ID is 80 and 443, then I want to start this MySQL also. So now, uh, yeah, I click it properly. So now you see also this MySQL it is running, and it is the, both the servers are running. Uh, for this Apache, it is port number 80. And for MySQL, it is the port number 3306. So you are happy, both are running. Uh, now what I need to do when both are server running, then, then I just I go to any of the browser. I can see here, I am I'm in, in a browser in this Google Chrome. Uh, there just I type, uh, just go to the local host, uh, local host, just I type it here and uh, uh, slash. So I want to access by PHP my admin, okay? So for this PHP my admin, uh, you type it there. So once you type this PHP my localhost PHP my admin, you can come here, and you will find it here. Uh, you are already in that MySQL uh, because already I am having all things here. So then it will be asking you login here. Uh, for login at the time of installation, so I set my user and password. By default, uh, user will be the root. So you put it root, okay? And the password is I, uh, what I put my password. You put your own password. So I am uh, putting my password, okay? So password, password, whatever, whatever you put it there and go there here. Now you are there in this PHP my admin. Okay. So once we are here, yeah, it is saying the PHP when configured storage is not completely uh, configured. Some of the things it is there. Okay. Mm, or alternate. Go to. Okay. That, no, ignore it. That is not important things here. And it is. Uh, I close it here. All things. Okay. Yeah. I close this one. It's not necessary. Then what I do it here because now I have to create a database. So for creating a database, what I need to do, uh, just you see it here. Uh, the first uh, menu here we find is the database. Then you find the SQL, then the status, user account, uh, export, import settings, all the things you can click, uh, can, can click it here. Okay. So but I want to create a database. So what I did it, I click this database. While I am clicking this database, you have to just type a database name. Okay. What is the database name? So I have given WordPress. Word two is there. So I am writing it here. Uh, my blog. So my database is name is my blog. B L O G. Okay. So this is my mm, my blog. Right. What I have written. It is my blog. Okay. Just remaining what there as it is you leave it. So don't worry. Just you create it. Okay. So now you can see it is uh, created. Okay. Now uh, yeah yeah I, uh, let me see what is my blog. It is already created there. Then previously whatever things it is there this word too. Uh, that I I already installed something there. Now I want to remove that one. Okay, so now um, it will let it be there. The database there is no problem. You can keep it there as it is. We are not going to do anything with this database. So I created the database is my blog. Okay, so I am going to create um, something like this my blog. Uh, okay, so now what I need to do? Uh, just I go to. <coughs> uh, just I go to. Uh, yeah, just I type it here. Yeah, just I go to the C drive. In the C drive, you know, already I installed Jamp. Okay, so I go to the Jamp also. Yeah, you can find it Jamp here. Yeah, you get the Jamp here, and you go to the HTDocs because in the HTDocs I created everything is there. Now, what is my thing? I created Word two previously for giving the some uh, thing that I uh, Control X. Just I uh, remove it here and put it in E drive, right? So because I want to keep a backup that one, uh, just I open it here and I put it here control V okay so yeah you can see it here because what the app or what the blog I already created uh, that I want to keep a backup because I am starting it first and I want to give you a demonstration you for all 
uh, for this thing okay so maybe it takes uh, less than uh, um, one minute so uh, let, let, let it copy and paste we don't have any problem in the meantime what you need to do i need to go to the uh, okay this this you drag it here let it do its work of its own now what i want to do i go to the download okay in the download yeah you can see it here the download in this download can you see it here somewhere that i uh, put this wordpress 5.5.1 right okay so it was there so in this these things what i need to do just i um, wordpress just i uh, extract it here okay uh, extract file okay in this extract file uh, extract file just you uh, click it okay so now something it is extracting and you will find a folder uh, containing this wordpress okay wordpress 5.5.1 what is that it will be there okay so now it is uh, um, it, it is doing maybe it, it also takes less than uh, one minute time yeah it's uh, going to complete i think uh, yeah so what you need to do uh, the entire thing what you have uh, done it here uh, yeah you can get it here one folder like this no uh, where you are that one that you should get some wordpress 5.5.1 something it appeared there but i don't find it here maybe at the bottom it will be there somewhere yeah do you find any yeah you can find it here wordpress it is here okay so now once you find this wordpress here and everything is there you can see it here and you copy enter thing control a and control c okay so now because this wordpress what i unzipped it here no you can see it here when it is done so if you see this file yeah come back here this wordpress today uh, 9 to 2020 it is the old one so now what you downloaded and what you that also you can get it here but anyway uh, i'll be searching where it is mm, this is the uh, wordpress 5.8 it, it is there so what i do it here so come here and uh, you select everything what is there okay just control a yeah control a and control c so you have done it here after this you understand so what i downloaded this wordpress 5.5.1 just i unzip that one after unzipping what is the content just i copy it here then i go back uh, to my c drive and i go back to uh, the sd uh, the sorry jump so just type x so sorry so something you put it here and type x you see her jump is there you go back to that jump yeah, and you you go to the sd docs okay so once you come to this sd docs uh, you can find it here you don't have any uh, thing it here just i want to create something create so new i create a folder what is the folder name i have given the new folder i have given my blog okay so i created with my uh, blog b l o g okay so i created with my blog so this is the folder what i wanted to create and i created now there and i already created a database with this my blog uh, double click it there and control v uh, everything you put it here okay it takes less than minute uh, time i think the system is fast and it is with uh, 2.5 pmb per second it is telling yeah so in the meantime what you need to do now i am going to configure these things okay how do you configure all the things i have to so because I am telling you, you do this, do like this and all things. So many people have given, sir, give a practical demonstration for doing all things, right? So now what I have to do, everything is okay, fine here. And you see that in the meantime, you have already run this server. What is the server? Your server is Apache as well as the MySQL already restarted. So now, uh, now let me, uh, let me go to any of the browser. Say I go back to this browser here and I uh, start a new browser here. Uh, sorry, start a new page here and I write local host. Yeah, local host and what is the uh, folder i created slash uh, my blog slash my b l o g okay so now uh, as if first time you are going to install this no uh, actually this is the wordpress but i replace that name file name with the my blog i am putting it here okay and i put it here i can see something uh, it takes uh, some time also uh, don't worry but it will open don't worry for those things it is opening yeah it's fine it is open can you see it here now it is asking you to configure all the things so you can select this english united states then you go for this continue okay so click continue uh, then let's go database and everything it will create it there okay these are things it is going to do and let's uh, okay so i i take it the, um, down yeah we can go for all the things and uh, let's go uh, then once you click this let's go it will ask you uh, what is the uh, file name you want to put it here okay so i uh, what is the database now i created if you remember i created my blog okay so this is the file I created, my blog. All right. So you can create anything, and I created it in my blog. Okay. So now the username and password. Username uh, already you know what is the username. Your database username something you put it here. Mm, if you uh, I can put some uh, here also. Suppose I put uh, 
uh, admin because by default we can put it admin and password you put something uh, yeah yeah if you remember um, this is the database you is telling your database username uh, for this database username I can put admin and I put it here password here also uh, that is uh, any password you put it here uh, so my god something your database password something I put it here then I submit okay so uh, yeah error establishing a database connections why yeah let me see uh, my blog is there and I put it root okay I don't have a problem so I put a root here and uh, I put a password here also it is localized develop and all things submitted here okay so i hope it is come uh, uh, all the all right okay so everything is accepted now you remember what is the user id i put it here user id the root by default it today and password what is your size you put it here okay now run this uh, detailing uh, run the installation now it is running the installation okay uh, yeah now, now you can see that then asking what is the uh, site title because i i created already my blog okay so I am putting it there my blog uh, okay then then it is asking you so what is the username you can create a username here username can have any alphanumerical character space etc etc uh, you can create a username okay then I, I put this username something like this now uh, for this I put admin okay I put this user ID that's admin and password something I put it here mm, yeah uh, this I remove everything and I put it here oh you hide it all the times you should not show it to others delete right so it is a strong password you don't have any problem and then your email id uh, you can put your email id suppose my email id dr gjana uh, gjana uh, uh, gmail.com right okay g m a i l dot com okay so once you come here and everything is okay then you install the wordpress okay now everything is okay up to this i hope uh, you, you you have any doubt you can send a, a sms to me also and i will be e telling that uh, um, with the chosen all the login okay so you telling uh, save okay save it here i don't have any problem and i put it here uh, remember me also i uh, because it is only for demonstrations i am doing but other things you can uh, yeah login so okay so now now you have successfully logged in and i hope uh, with this we'll be able to see and you, what you see you can clearly see the dashboard in front of you okay what is the local host class my blog and here wp admin okay now the thing starts here how because up to this you created the environment everything is there and now it's done so now you can see the dashboard is in front of you and this is the main thing where you do all the things okay so till now uh, because before working for this you know post before working for anything first let us go for this uh, pl plugins okay now you see what are the plugins already available there because i don't want to keep all this hello dolly and uh, so all the things i don't want all things okay so i select all this plugin okay then i go for this thing and i delete it because you that these are the plugins by default are you going to use no sir i don't want to use just i want to delete whatever the plugins i want those things i will select and i will install okay then you applied all the things here it is selling saying are you sure i want yes i am sure i want to delete all the things now it has removed all these plugins okay you don't have any plugins here okay now uh, with this uh, what you need to do um, you have to go for uh, selecting some themes because i want something to select so where you get the themes you get the things from the uh, appearance okay go to the appearance here uh, in this appearance you go to the themes okay already you are in the themes and you can see a lot of things are there and you are already having 29 and this that and all things there but i don't want all the things okay so i want to create a new theme so what i have to do i have to go for uh, add themes okay add a new thing okay well i go for this adding something new then it will ask you where you want to um, get it okay one is the featured one is the popular one is the latest and uh, all things are there suppose i i go for this um, something in here and i i go for this uh, uh, the popular 
or yeah, you will find a number of things are there. And here, uh, this one by default it is installed. Okay, so when I go for this popular here or the latest here also something, uh, you you can select anything here. Okay, so thin. Uh, you can also search here something. I uh, the, just I search it here. I go for something like Astra. You find a number of things here. Just I type it A S T uh, A Astra. It is not Astral. It is Astra. When you search this Astra, uh, you can find uh, something like um, yeah. Uh, it appears the uh, you you can see the first one two things it is appearing. First one is the Astra. Second one is the Astral. Okay. So don't go for this Astral. So you go for this Astra, okay? Just you go for installation. I installed all the things. You can see it on left hand side when it is there. Uh, this thing, there is nothing there when it is installed. After that, what happens? That I will show you, okay? So now it is installing. Uh, let it take its time. Uh, in the meantime, what you do? You have to uh, go for this activation. Once it is installation is completed, you have to go for this activation, okay? For this activation, what you need to do? Uh, just let it complete. Yeah, it is installed. Now just click it activate. Okay, once you activated all the things, left hand side just you observe it will come something like that. No, Astra option. Okay, can you see this one? This Astra option it was not there initially, and now it has come some um, Astra option. Okay, so now you check this Astra option. If you go it here in this Astra option, yeah, it is there. It is coming like this. Okay, so in this Astra options you get it there. Uh, thank you for installing that uh, and all things it is asking. Okay, so now. Mm, now you have to go for this install importer plugin okay so because this is also uh, one of the mm, you, you can check it here Astra option is there and here you can do all things upload and all things you can do it here okay so footer settings uh, the header options everything you can do it here okay header options the customizer front uh, mm, blog and layouts everything whatever things you can do it here okay now what I want to do again I go to my uh, I, I go back to my blogs and where I have to uh, go for some 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 input plugin. Okay, so you here uh, I, where you get the plugins, you come to the plugin here. Yeah, you come to the plugin here, and I want to uh, get some uh, add some plugin. Okay, then if you want to add some plugin, then you click it here, uh, add new. So it is asking what is the plugin you want to add it here. Okay, so in this here you can search whatever things you want. So I want something like. Importer plugin, okay. Importer, uh, importer plugin, something like that. I'm asking, okay. So, uh, yeah, it takes time. Yeah, it's searching. So, it is saying uh, WordPress importer like that. It is something. It is coming, okay. So, you have to go for that one. Uh, that uh, install importer plugin, okay. Uh, okay. So, in the meantime, just you have a just just one. Yeah, you can see it here when you are in this Astra option because it was obstructing. I was searching that time what happened, where it is there. So, you can see it here uh, by default. Some starter template it is giving. So, it will ask you, uh, Did you uh, know Astra offers a few library, a free library of uh, starter templates? That what this is the most important. So, import your favorite, and for this, what you have to do, you have to go for this install importer plugin. Just click it here, okay? So, what are the details? You check it here, and uh, yeah. If it is not there, the uh, escape it here also. Mm, that is not important. So just you go for this install importer plugin. Okay. So it is importing, and it is uh, then it is activating that one also. Okay. So once it is completed, we can go for this activation also. It, is, it will import and as well as also it will go for this activating. Okay. So once it is over, then you can go for installing another thing. Uh, so for that, I'll I'll say you. Uh, just one minute, just wait. Let it be, let it complete all the things. Okay. So now, what you have done till now? Uh, first, we have selected from the appearance, you have gone for a theme, and in this theme, yeah, it, it, it has come here now, and it is asking you uh, which one you want to select. Okay. So, because uh, by default, uh, so many things are there, you go for this elementor. It is an excellent one. Just to click this, click this elementor. Okay. So, when you are selecting this elementor, yeah, it's coming. Uh, it takes some time and it is still coming. So you can see um, elementors are there. And you will find a number of pages here like this. You select one. I have selected something. I, I, I select this one. Okay. I select this one. Right. So when you select all the things there, then it telling import uh, complete site or all the things it is coming at here. Right. So now 
when you are here uh, it will ask you uh, do you want to import the complete site or whatever you want to do it will ask you when i clicked it there it is asking yes you go for the import import complete site okay when you click this import complete site you can see it here uh, whatever the things you have selected everything it is coming it here uh, do you want to delete previously imported sites no that, that is not my concern so i want to import things i selected now this selecting the entire uh, website will be being uh, imported right so now uh, now you become the owner of that website what you see there there no uh, you see so many pages are there home page is there blog is there uh, plugin there and all the uh, say about to is there and all the things it becomes yours now okay now it is importing once it is there then you need to activate that one okay so now you can see this is the way how we can um, just in by clicking by click 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 all these things we can do it here and we have done it successfully and you uh, just wait for uh, it takes around one minute because it has to download and it has to activate and based on your internet speed and all things it will do and uh, anyway I, I hope it will take uh, uh, around a minute or uh, so okay so once up to this it is there then you can uh, start any of the things okay then then we can um, we can also go for this editing of all the things and before that you need to uh, add one more plugin okay for adding that plugin yeah let it be completed uh, then i'll show you now now what is the website you got it here is a template you got it there and with this uh, website you can edit it and you can customize according to your need right so this is the it is successfully um, activate plugin elementor and still it is importing now it takes some time and it you don't worry for this sort of things and it um, okay so Yeah, you can find it here. Yeah, let me put it here. Oh my God! Yeah, we put it here, something like this. Yeah, right. Okay. So now, <coughs> now you can see it here. We have a number of pages here. Uh, what are the pages we are having? The home page. You can see it here you, by clicking. You can see the home page. you can see about you can see the services you can see the projects you can see the contents feedback everything you can put it here right so these are the by default things it is available for you and you can edit and all things now one more thing i told you that before we proceed for editing and everything we have to install one more uh, plugin okay that we call it the live mesh okay so here i i go for the plugins here i go for the plugin and uh, what are the installed plugin you show it here so now it is showing you What are the installed plugins? And you, uh, I want to add a new plugin. <coughs> Your starter template is there, and WP form is there, and Elementor all the things are there. So I search for something, and I go for uh, Live Mesh. Okay, L I V E Live Mesh, uh, M E S H. Okay, in this Live Mesh, yeah, one it is searching. Yeah, you can find it here. Live Mesh action for the Elementor, Live Mesh side design for all the things. It is there, right? So now. <coughs> Live mesh uh, add-ons for Elementor. Live on uh, element. Uh, yeah, you, you have to check it here. Okay. So for these things, what you need to do with the exact thing you, you must know because there are so many uh, live mesh uh, site origin live mesh add-on uh, for Beaver Build Builders. Okay. So the, for this, what you need to do, just take it one more time. You can see it here when we have uh, uh, gone for this searching like this live mesh. so it is showing live mesh add on for elementor okay just you have to install this one click this install and it will be installing and once this installation is completed you can go for activation of that one okay so i don't think up to this it is very any difficult for you to pull uh, to you no know, to to install the plugins and whatever the free things downloads is available just you have download and we did not pay anything till now we have not done anything okay neither we have done any coding Now we purchased anything for designing up to this. Now it is okay. Now I am going for this activate. Okay. So up to this, I have activated this one also. Yeah, I think it is, it is still taking. Yeah, it's taking. And it will activate. It it takes some more than one minute time, and it will activate. Okay. So once it is activated, I think your platform is ready, and you can go for yeah. Now it is showing. Yeah. 
so you can skip all the things it is not necessary uh, for all the things okay so <clears throat> so for this uh, what we need to do yeah so now it is asking you uh, that something here admin uh, never miss an important update or things like that allow and continue because I, I don't know about all the things what I have to do then when you do not know about anything so you skip it it is better option for you <clears throat> because without that it is it is suggesting you can do the, it is not the mandatory thing without doing that you cannot proceed okay now you have done everything it is there here okay so now you are ready uh, and your website is ready for uh, going for something okay so <clears throat> now uh, I go to the the, the pages etc first I go to the pages here and I uh, yeah, I, I go for the plugins and everything is there also here you can see a uh, number of things are there this about is there contact is there home is there privacy is there projects is there uh, sample pages are there suppose you don't want something you can remove and you want something you can get private policy etc private privacy etc that you see now it is your job now what you want to do you can do it here now okay so um, now, now what I have to do so <clears throat> now I go to my dashboard okay so in the dashboard I can do uh, everything I can I can do it here okay so now yeah you know yeah now you can see it here after this you have done everything uh, and you have to save it okay for that you go for the save uh, the settings just click it here now uh, up to this whatever things you configured everything is saved okay now I go to my dashboard I go to the dashboard because now I'm not going to use all the things it is okay so in the dashboard I Mm, just uh, go to the uh, posts or whatever things are yeah posts uh, or something like that uh, where it is there I have to go for that mm. are you put it here okay if you click it here also you can see this one now I what I do to edit now, now you can see now you can see the entire website what you have done mm. by default it is it is coming like this okay it is coming like this right so now what I have to do, I need to edit all the things. I need to edit all the things. How do you edit all the things? So you go for edit with Elementor. When you start editing with Elementor, you can see something it is coming like this. Yeah. Now now you, you, you can ask a question, sir, what is this editing and all this? See, it is a wonderful tool. So it is totally drag and drop and whatever the editing, everything you can do it, it is just at your fingertips. You need not worry. No need to write a single bit of coding also. You can see it here. Now everything it has come. So now something it has come. Uh, explore uh, the color of the world. Okay. Just commit here. Okay. So just uh, uh, you delete all the things it here and write the uh, code with us really or something like that. Whatever you want to write, write it here. Okay. Code with us for free. okay so yeah okay so what you do it a previously some other codes are here just I changed all the things about the text are there just I'm learning coding for free with us that is the things I'm writing it here and the header I'm writing it is coder 7 okay uh, it is coder 7 and here some other thing you there in the bottom name I change this start with us or start now okay so these are things you have done <coughs> till now you know it so now uh, you can you can observe it here at the top you can see something like that if you want edit sections you can edit all the things and if you want to add a section below this you can go for adding this section some section and if you want to uh, delete this section also you click it there and it automatically is deleted okay then what is this one this you can see the add section uh, then 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 you, you you can see it here that means uh, some it can create an inner section inside this also you can create another section right so all the things you can do it here perfectly and you put it here and everything and you see uh, and you whatever things you want to put it here <coughs> and you can see it here uh, here it is putting some uh, some uh, no, padding it is here okay these things some blocks it is leaving it here if you want to delete these things then it will span the entire uh, width so those things you can uh, do you see it, it looks good because it is at the center and it is some uh, gap it is giving the left side and the right hand side and it is then uh, so that is the reason it is created and you you have successfully created and you have written the title as coder 7 you have written the title as coder 7 so then i i put it started here okay so up to this so you have done so suppose you want to update here now you update it here so you have successfully updated here now if you go for uh, uh, these sites okay now you updating if you go for these sites so previously it was explore the uh, colorful world and all the things it was there 
now when i updated everything and i am clicking it here you can see it here it is coming instead of explore the colorful world it is coming learning coding uh, for free with us then coder 7 and start now see how successful you have done all things then you can see it here uh, another thing it is here yeah yeah i put it here because it is obstructing me so now <coughs> now you can see it here also a lot of things also it is coming uh, like about services projects contact and all the things it is coming here and uh, still it is not there i think i have not saved all things but it will be uh, there okay so when you go for these things you Yeah, this I have not changed, that, that is the reason it is coming like this, right? So now, uh, in this way, you can uh, go for the editing of all the things, and you can also...